Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see CKMB assay or the creatinine kinase MB as a cardiac biomarker and its clinical significance. If you are new to this channel, uh, please press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified. So what is CKMB? CKMB stands for uh, creatine kinase myocardial band. So CKMB or the creatine kinase MB is a form of an enzyme that that is found primarily in the heart muscle cell. CKMB is one of the three forms or the, or the isoenzymes of the enzyme creatine kinase and uh, these isoenzymes include CKMM, CKMB and CKBB. So CKMM is found in the skeletal muscles and the heart and uh, CKMB is found mostly in the heart but small amounts found in skeletal muscles. CKBB found mostly in the brain and smooth muscles such as uh, intestine and the uterus. So what is CKMB test? Uh, CKBB, uh, one of the isoenzyme form, almost never gets into the blood and uh, CKMB will typically only be present in a significant amount when there is a heart damage. So that is why it is uh, particularly important uh, to diagnose the myocardial infarction. So CKMB is uh, elevated when there is a heart damage. A CK test uh, measure the total level but it does not distinguish between the three isoenzymes. So there is another test called the creatine kinase test. So that will measure the total levels of uh, creatine kinase and CKMB is required to distinguish between uh, the heart cell damage or the skeletal muscle damage. So when there is an increased amount of uh, creatine kinase present in the blood, the CKMB test can be used to determine whether it is due to the heart damage or more likely to be related to the skeletal muscle injury. So importance of uh, CKMB in uh, diagnosis of myocardial infarction. So increase in creatine kinase level indicates either muscle damage or cardiac damage. So CKMB plays a key role here uh, as a marker for cardiac injury. Increased levels of uh, uh, CKMB is an indicator of uh, myocardial infection and the symptoms may include chest pain, uh, sweating, dizziness, fatigue or difficulty in breathing. So when a uh, patient uh, is reporting these kind of uh, issues, CKMB test can be used to check whether there is a heart attack. Coming to the uh, CKMB levels and the diagnostic application. So the CKMB or the creatine kinase is involved in the energy requirements during the muscle contraction. So CKMB first appears uh, 4 to 6 hours after the sim symptom onset and peaks at about uh, 24 hours and returns to normal in about 48 to 72 hours. Its value nearly, its value in the early and uh, late 72 hours of diagnosis of uh, acute myocardial uh, infraction is limited. So early and late diagnosis, it is not possible. So it peaks at around 24 hours. However, its uh, release kinetics can assist in diagnosing subsequent infraction if levels rise after initial declining following acute myocardial infraction. And the normal range for CKMB is uh, less than 5 nanogram per ml and if the levels goes beyond this above this range that indicates a myocardial infraction. So as you can see from this graph the CKMB levels uh, peaks at about uh, around uh, 24 hours and start to decline. So the advantage of using this CKMB is that since it drastically drops within three days if there is a further onset there will be again a rise in the CKMB level so that can be used whether any recurring uh, incidence is happening whereas uh, troponin cannot do that so troponin is very sensitive than CKMB but it cannot be used in the, the recurring uh, infractions that is occurring. So these disadvantages of uh, CKMB test is that uh, the sensitivity and the specificity of CKMB is uh, lower than that of troponin and uh, this has been uh, superseded by troponin and its availability uh, has declined to virtually zero. So most of the time troponin uh, test is used which is more sensitive and specific than the CKMB is used these days for diagnosis of the heart attack. Hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, please press the subscribe button and share it with your friends. Thank you.